Big man in the middle, Dane Danger, could be an important factor here for Brad Underwood's align. I, he, and Coleman Hawkins, excellent in that front court. And the two lottery picks in the backcourt, Nick Smith joined by Anthony Black. This should be some fun, and away we go. Bert Smith, Brooke Wells, Sean Hole, our officials. Robert Felder is the standby referee. Illinois with the first possession. They get a nine seed and they get a, a pretty friendly location as well. They travel very well. Both of these teams, enigmas throughout the course of the regular season might be the best way to describe them. Kamani Johnson comes away with an offensive rebound and now Black see how Eric Musselman's Arkansas Razorbacks settle in with these two talented freshman guards. Here's Smith, little runner, no. R.J. Melendez rips down the board. High expectations for both of these programs, Jimmy, to start the year and with all of the talent that they have, I think they finally get a chance to wipe the slate clean as Hawkins opens up the scoring. I think both programs are looking forward to the NCAA tournament to start from scratch. It takes a cue from North Carolina what happened last year. They got into the tournament, made the run, and of course got to the national championship, but both teams, because it, the expectation was there because of their roster makeup, highly touted, highly talented, but yet and still were up and down through the course of the season. Eric Musselman, third NCAA tournament appearance with the Razorbacks. Remember, he was the head coach at Nevada, made a run to the Sweet 16. They have gone to back-to-back -back Elite Eights and had a terrific recruiting class. So there were high expectations for sure. Arkansas got off to an 11-1 start. They were 10th in the country to start the year. But it has not been a smooth ride, and injuries have taken their toll. A key loss in Trevin Brazil, a big man who can shoot it. And as Jimmy mentioned, Nick Smith missed a couple of months with a knee injury. Well, both teams very similar from this aspect, that they don't shoot the three ball with a lot of efficiency, but they love to get the ball in their hands and try to drive off the dribble, get two feet in the paint like right here. Ooh, Smith, athletic, can't finish it. Oh, oh we got our first, first wedgie, wedgie of the day. <laughs> <laughs> a Des Moines wedgie. There we go. But, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see which team can establish themselves, one, offensively, knowing that you're not going to shoot the three ball well. Can you get to your spots? Can you get to the paint in front of the rim and score? Right here, you see Smith here, the reverse, the miss, but then the offensive rebound and tap back by Johnson, but got a wiggy stuck up in there. Like you said. Possession arrow belongs to Arkansas, yeah. so to get it right back, here's Black, and he is denied. Anthony Black at 6-7. There's the big man in the middle, Dane Danger. This Illinois team, they get a, they get a little three-point happy, according to their coach, Brad Underwood. And if you follow this team through the Big Ten, you've seen some wild swings and erratic shots, but they are at their best when they are spread and getting production from inside, specifically with Danger and Coleman Hawkins. Both have excellent post-up games. Well, to be shooting 30% for Illinois, they shoot about 24 a game. Shannon turns it over. This is Davis, Devo Davis, finally gets Arkansas on the board. Well, when you can play defense, now you use that athleticism to get out in transition. A beautiful Euro step that time by Davis. Ooh, Matt Meyer just lost it. Transfer from Baylor. Remember him, the national championship team with the Baylor Bears. He and Danger transferring from Baylor. Part of that winning pedigree under Scott Drew and Waco and both finding their way to Champaign. Let's see if Matthew Meyer can get started. See if he can see that first one go in. Listen, just one for 16 outside the arc in the last two games so he said he's not worried about it as much he knows that he's a knockdown shooter so let's see if the Illini can get him started early Arkansas losing to a and in the SEC tournament their last game Illinois lost to Penn State a team that is also here in the, board in the Midwest as Anthony Black has his first NCAA tournament bucket on the board got a good head of lettuce up there up to, up to, <laughs> that's first in show right yeah, now. I'm trying to tell you. Great tie too. Here's Meyer. Oh, they would love to get him loose. He has really struggled, as Jimmy mentioned. He's got to see one go through here at some point. And earlier the better. 
uh, for not only himself but for his teammates too. You start knocking in some shots that loosens up the defense, opens up the driving lanes for the Illini. Smith gives it up. Kamani Johnson right back to Black. Black the point guard, allows Smith to play off the ball. And now Davis turns a corner with the left hand, able to lay it in. And beautiful patience that time. But the Razorbacks able to get kind of an off ball screen to get Davis coming downhill to catch, get his defender on his back and finish inside. So you get offense from Davis. Arkansas feels good about that. He's a great defensive player. Comes away with a rebound here. And a spin. Ricky Council. That's in and out. He is fouled. Arkansas aggressive. And Ricky Council has been coming off the bench into the starting lineup. He'll go to the line. Well, just a little cross screen right here. I mean, in regards to up top, the defense was not able to get through. It wasn't a switching situation. Davis able to turn the corner. Ricky Council transferred into Arkansas from Wichita State. Great player there. Knocked down the first free throw. Well, is it the best Coke ever? Take a taste and see for yourself. Off and running here in Des Moines. We saw Kansas, the top seed, beat Howard, the 16 seed, on this floor. First game of our four game Thursday afternoon. The greatest day on the sports calendar. <laughs> The first day of the NCAA tournament. Well, we got to start it off. Vice President yeah, Kamala Harris. Was Kamala Harris was in, here in the building in the to building. see Howard. That's right. Eight to two, Arkansas got off to a slow start. Three for three cents and free throws from Council. Here's X, their starting point guard, coming off the bench. It's a big story. He gets denied at the rim by Makai Mitchell in his first minutes, and look at Davis feeling comfortable. And the lefty misses, offensive board. Here is Council, always a willing shooter. And there is Epps with the rebound. So Jimmy, talk us through Jaden Epps. He's been out with a concussion. They're going to need him. What they're going to need is penetration, his playmaking ability. And Epps, the ability to see if he can knock in a couple open oh jumps. Oh, Two in it. Are you kidding? It's me? the rarest of all feats. It's a double wedgie in Des Moines. <laughs> Not one, but two. Hey, Brian. Well, after talking to both teams, they're not coming into this game knowing we're in our stride. They're hoping and praying they find their stride after both teams had second halves of the seasons that were plagued by inconsistency. Arkansas, despite its impressive roster, they're just 9-21 and since the start of conference play December 28th, which is hard to believe. They opened up 11-1, dropped out of the top 25 in Illinois. Similarly, as they look for another made basket, both teams 0-4 for from 3 so far to start this game. They had wins against top 15 teams, but then they struggled in stretches of the season. And Coach Underwood told me it's, it's as simple as our biggest players stepping up, like Matthew Meyer against Texas. Meyer told me, he goes, listen, we're streaky, and it's because of the three-point shooting. But in single elimination, anything can happen. We're hoping to get hot, and we do believe that we are elite. Yeah, great stuff, Ali. And both teams, from a leadership perspective, kind of searching for that person to kind of be the voice of reason when things are not going right but getting the talent is there but the inconsistency at time for both teams prevented them from probably reaching the goal that they wanted to at the beginning of the season. Nick Smith, he was trying to go up top for Mitchell, turns it over instead. Illinois, they have beaten three top 15 teams this year, including Texas. You see their great start. They were 6-1 and one to start the year. Brad Underwood in his sixth year in Illinois has rebuilt this program. Stephen F. Austin and then Oklahoma State. Last four years, the most wins in Big Ten play the fighting Illini of Illinois. But they have not been able to answer with those second round losses in the last two years. And I think both coaches hit it on the head as Luke Goody cashes one in. That's a piece coming back. Yes. Allie talked about the injuries. He injured his foot, broke his foot in a preseason scrimmage against Kansas. Now a turnover. Coleman Hawkins going to the basket. Lost the handle. Fouled by Davis. Well, if you have Luke Goody at the beginning of the season, his role would be defined at this particular point. But also he'd be established as who he is as a player from the beginning of the season. You combine that with Matthew Meyer being able to shoot from the outside, it gives you a different look. But because it was disjointed by Luke Goody not being there, other players had to fill that void a little bit. 
And again, it's not easy. It happened at the beginning of the season, so Illinois was able to kind of figure out their roster and their rotation. But it's always good to have a shooter back in the lineup. Well, to Ali's point, though, they're still searching. Both of these coaches still searching for the right combination of players. They're both healthy, though. They feel like they're as good as they've been all year. Trevin Brazil is a massive loss for Arkansas. But other than that, they got their pieces back. That's going to be a foul out on the perimeter. Just in the game, Jordan Walsh, who is a premium defender. There's Brazil, ACL surgery. And he gave him a lot. Not only did he give him points and rebounds, but he's a big man who can shoot it well, from beyond the arc. Remember, Eric Musselman came to us and said that he probably was their best three-point shooter on the team. You know, coming from a you know forward center perspective. Hawkins takes a peek for the shoot here. He's got Mitchell on him. Hawkins trying to get a stab. Walsh in there digging. And that is a defensive stand by the Arkansas Razorbacks. Shot clock violation. And Hawkins thought he was fouled. Well, the beautiful part about this is, yes, it's one-on-one -on -one defense, but look at the help defense. So Hawkins is seeing one, two, three white jerseys kind of stare him down and not a lot of space and opportunity to work with. It's so interesting how spread Illinois is, but they were the worst three-point shooting team in the Big Ten. And Arkansas, not a great three-point team either. Davis is on a heater to start this game. He's got six of the ten Razorback points. And he looks unafraid here to start this first game of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, well, Davis is doing an excellent job of getting to his spot. Here's X. <laughs> Rebound cleared by the point guard. Black, and he turns it over into the hands of Hawkins. Almost gave it away. Here's Epps going to the basket, and he knocks down the layup. A smart, yeah, smart play by Epps because he was looking back at Hawkins maybe to throw the lob, and I think that froze the defense just enough for him to get up and underneath to be able to knock it in. Epps played just two minutes in the Big Ten tournament against Penn State, scored three points, but he could be a factor. He was out with a very serious concussion. He collapsed during a practice, ended up in the hospital, and they have been extremely cautious in bringing Epps back. But here he is, a full go in the NCAA tournament after getting his feet wet in the Big Ten tournament. Another turnover for Illinois. Up ahead, Hawkins, another steal. And he gives it right back. Hey, oh. You got to just sometimes make the simple pass. Council makes the simple pass. Mitchell runs into a wall and scores it anyway. Makai Mitchell. Shoe gone. Two possessions here for Meyer without his shoe. Where is the shoe, Jimmy? I don't right see it. The, it's on the sideline sitting it. by the coaches there. There it is. Somebody, right yeah, somebody probably threw it over <laughs> <laughs> to him right now. Uh, just spot up and shoot your socks. Hawkins, he gives it up. Hanging in the air, cannot finish. Ty Rogers, this is inside. I'll go right at him. I'll go right at him. Got the, the mismatch. I'm with you. I saw it too. Council saw who was guarding him. He goes right to the basket. Matthew Meyer get his shoe on. It's yeah, a good looking sneaker. It is too. Let me get a pair. Red size 14. Coach, shots weren't falling early, but the good news is they weren't for Illinois either. How do you reverse those fortunes? Well, we're, we struggle at times offensively. I think defensively, we've got to continue to play at a high level defensively and we've got to continue to rebound the ball defensively we've done a good job on the defensive backboards fairly decent job on the O boards got to guard the three and we've had too many long outlet passes that have led to turnovers we need more shots on goal thank you coach Thanks. Eric Musselman had a great run with Nevada yep. sweet 16 run and then back-to-back -back elite eights with Arkansas four offensive rebounds for the Razorbacks uh, to start this game Harris on the floor, first minutes, high off the window. That's in and out. Illinois struggling to get their shots to go. Arkansas wants to move it. Nick Smith gets it back to the top. Council's been a great bench player. Got the start here today, and he rises up. Cannot connect. Well, you know, the formula has been shown to us through the Houston Cougars when you're not an outstanding three-point shooting team, but you crash the offensive glass, you put pressure from the defensive perspective to get you offensive touches. These two teams are kind of built similar to that, but not as good defensively and offensive rebounding that. Sincere Harris almost losing the handle.
Jimmy Illinois has got to get Terrence Shannon going here. Just one field goal attempt. Danger. He's a handful inside and a foul. That is the other twin. You're not seeing double here. You got the Mitchell twins, Makai and Mikkel. Mikkel there on the foul as Makai sits. Eric Muslin had a great set of twins oh, in yeah. his Nevada yeah, the Martin, days. Martin twins. They're both playing at a, in the big boy league right now. There's Dane Danger, transfer from Baylor. And Illinois is at their best. He is going to work inside as he comes up short on the free throw. Don't forget, folks, you can watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device in CAA March Madness Live. Just scan the QR code to download. Best way to do it. Brian Anderson with Jim Jackson and Allie LaForce. Producer Tom Heights, director Andrew Greathouse, and our terrific crew. Delighted to have you with us here for this 8-9 matchup. A rugged start for the Fighting Illini. Both of these coaches take a page out of the Bill Self book. It might always be pretty, but at least they're trying to make it hard for the other team and make them look bad. Smith can't get loose. He comes up short. He's well, 0 for 3 now. Yeah, and I talked to you about the before the game, Brian. I said this is one of those games where it could be where it's a struggle to make shots early. Good move that time and patience by Sincere Harris. Because both teams are not shooting the ball well from the outside, so they'll try to press it a little bit more and get to the basket. Hence, we've seen some turnovers, some miscues offensively, and some missed shots because of that. Jordan Walsh going to work. Walsh, tough finish inside. McDonald's All-American. He's a freshman out of DeSoto, Texas. Melendez guarded by Council. Oh, a nice pass right around as Hawkins. Ball's moving well. Shannon, a little uneasy. Melendez steps in. Mid-range jumper, no. Walsh with the rebound. Yeah, but that pass by Sincere Harris. You drop it down to Terrence Shannon Jr.'s ankle. Now he can't get the shot up. So that's why passing is such a premium to getting shots. Well, Two-man game, Black and Mitchell. And Mikel Mitchell is fouled. He'll go to the line. I like a little quick pick and roll. Mitchell able to slip it. Black with a nice little pocket pass inside. And that's quick offense versus the Illinois team defensively that were not set yet. Mikel and Mackay, this is their third program. They have gone together wherever they've been. The Twins, two years at Rhode Island, had a year at Maryland as well. The twin brother says, out of way. Six-point Arkansas lead despite a bit of a drought. Hawkins will sit. Meyer back on the floor. Both shoes intact. <laughs> Arkansas 20 and 13, but just 8 and 10 in SEC play. They finished ninth in the conference. Had a big win in the SEC tournament. They beat Auburn, and it looked like Arkansas was back when they lost to AM. Nice play inside. Get a block. Shannon couldn't get there. Here's Smith, lays it in. And you can see how explosive Nick Smith Jr. is. Well, also, to those live ball turnovers. Deep below the free throw line lends itself to this Arkansas team being able to use that athleticism in transition like we just saw. Danger wanting it inside. He walks with it. Dane Danger turns it over. Wanted it earlier than that. And Sincere, Sincere Harris made the right um, call right here by not attempting to get the ball or foul. Danger on the baseline trying to get himself wedged in deeper to try to get inside, but excellent defense by Mitchell to use the baseline as a secondary defender. Seven turnovers for Illinois, just four field goals made. And here's Black, he is fouled. This is what Arkansas does. They, especially with their guards, they get to the basket, they get to the line. That's a part of their formula. Black's gonna shoot a pair. And Black at 6'7". Waltz his way to a spot, initiated some contact, picked it up and then picked up the foul. One thing you notice on the stat sheet right away, Arkansas just one three-point attempt. That was Ricky Council. Eric Musselman does not want this team to settle for threes when they have dynamic drivers. Not able to connect on the first. 
Hey, get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Brian, you talked about the three-point shot. It, Eric's three years here. Down is fourth. Each year, the amount of three-point shots attempted has regressed. And part of that has to do with personnel, not philosophy, kind of building a system around the personnel that now fits his roster. And three-point shooting was not at a premium currently right now. Deja kept it alive with an offensive board. Goody gets to the floor. He and Mitchell on the floor. Tied him up, held ball. Possession arrow belongs to Arkansas. Good effort, though. Nine-point Razorback lead. 7.54 remaining in the first half. Arkansas by nine, Illinois missing 14 shots, not shooting well. A moment ago, Brad Underwood, their head coach with Ali LaForce. Well, Coach, while you're patiently waiting for the threes to fall, what do you emphasize offensively to put your team in a position to keep getting those looks? Make a layup would be nice as well. Uh, we've got about five layups that we just haven't made. Uh, we've, been, we've been good on the defensive side. We've got to execute. We've got to set better screens. We haven't run much. We've been really sloppy in our execution. Uh, that's a tribute to them, but we got to be better. We got to be more ball top. Thank you, Coach. But give credit to Arkansas one those layups you missed, but also the seven turnovers resulting into 11 points off those turnovers by Arkansas's draw you down 11 points and beautiful move right there isolation right in the middle of the court for Nick Smith Jr. Inside apps is getting a lot more run here today. That was uh, the big question mark. How much would he play? Illinois needing a bucket. Got to get Shannon going. Black cutting him off. Here's Shannon now. First team all Big Ten gives it up. Epps for three, contested three. Council with the rebound. Right, it's just going to be extremely tough for Illinois to kind of find driving lanes when you're not being able to hit outside shots. And right there in transition, the secondary break. Council's going to go to line yeah. for two. Yeah, that's the difference. I mean. You turn the ball over, you're not making shots. Missing layups, hence, is not a good recipe for an aggressive Arkansas team who thrives in the situation of trying to get two feet in the paint. Pin that foul on Matthew Meyer. Ricky Council, the fourth. It's the first free throw. Well, look at this. Look at the defense. Okay. You, you come out, but look, jerseys are in. The lane is clogged. The big get. Nick Smith Jr. contesting a shot. Not a lot of easy opportunities for this Illinois offense. You got to create some stuff off your defense, see if you get some deflections, get out in transition. Get yourself to the free throw line as well. Illinois, the worst three point shooting team in the Big Ten. They were excellent. The best two point shooting team in the Big Ten. Meyer fires a three, fouled on the three point attempt by Walsh, and three free throws coming. Sometimes that can get a player going. Meyer has been in a shooting slump and started this game 0 for 4. Walsh picks up his second foul. Yeah, a little quick action that time, but Walsh, anytime you're late to the party like that and you start to lean in a little bit, so you got a piece of the body in the lower half of Matthew Meyer. Meyer at the free throw line, a 74 percent free throw shooter. He's got that ring that. National championship, incredible run by the Baylor Bears. You know, it's interesting to say, well, why would he leave Baylor to come to Illinois and talking to the coaching staff at Illinois? He was like, he felt that he was put in a box. He was going to be restricted to his role. That's it. A certain amount of minutes, maybe 16 or 17. That was it. So he wanted a little bit more on his last ride, let's say, on the college level to experience that. And hence, that's what made him. You know, Long probably was a few other things to kind of make the move. Brad Underwood recruited him while Underwood was at Oklahoma State. Meyer was at Westlake High School in Austin, so they had a relationship. Smith unable to get the floater, and it's out of bounds off of Walsh, and that'll be Illinois basketball as Arkansas tight defensively in the early going. Well, when you kind of struggle from the outside, you got to do something well, and that's defensively. Not just individually, but are you in the correct position to provide help position if a drive does happen to happen? You get deflections, that's why coaches love it. That gets you out in transition. 
to be able to get some easier baskets. Block shots, defensive stands. Arkansas always good in the steals category. Here's Hawkins for three, and that one's good. Boy, Coleman Hawkins and the Fighting Illini needed to see one go through, and they get it. At the six-minute mark, Kai Mitchell almost a travel. Back door cut and counsel with a two-handed jam. Just when you got something positive for the Illini on the offensive end, Razorbacks come right back with the play. Now the defensive play. Mitchell with a block. Wipes out Shannon. Jalen Graham almost turns it over. And that'll be Arkansas ball, 532 remaining. How about Mitchell here? All the defensive end. Well, one of the strengths of this team also, too, is being able to protect the rim. You see the block there. Arkansas second in the SEC. They were top 10 in the country in blocks per game. They got a lot of length and a lot of athleticism. Yes. Here's Council going to work. They target Meyer. He gives it up. Walsh spins off Goody. Runs into a wall. Nice cut. And there it's Black. So great action by the Razorbacks on the back door. The defense, the double team, was there to stop the initial thrust of the offense, but it was the lack of awareness on the baseline that opened it up for Black to be able to waltz right in to get that two-hand dunk. Goody for three. This is the way back in for the Fighting Illini. Goody drops a three-pointer. Hawkins and Goody with threes, two of the last three possessions. Arkansas's lead is nine. Goody's hit a couple of threes. Now Black goes to work off the window. That's just size right there. I mean, that's just that's just six seven, going right over the top of six six. Hawkins lost the handle. Somehow recovers. Meyer, no good. The slump continues. Good looks too. I yeah. mean, really good looks by Meyer. And at some point, it is it does creep in your mind. I don't care how confident of a shooter you are. Jimmy's won for his last 20 right now. Going back into Big Ten tournament play. Goody on black. Walsh gives it right back to him. Five to shoot. Council let it fly. Oh, Ricky Council drills a three pointer. He's got 10 first half points. Biggest lead for the Razorbacks. Just their second three point attempt, their first mate. Shannon fouled, and he'll go to the line. The lefty will shoot a pair. Arkansas, they got it rolling, Jimmy. Yeah, not a lot of threes, but Ricky counts to the four, but able to make that one count. He has not been able to get going. He is just 0 for 2. One of those shots was a three point attempt. Jimmy, he averages 17 a game. He's got the donut right now. With the switching defense with Arkansas, the multiple guys that can cover on the perimeter, combined with the lack of outside shooting, not going to present a lot of opportunities. So, with Shannon Jr., can you get movement within the offense that allows you to create that open space for you to make a quick decision and go before that defense is set by the Razorback? Another high-level transfer, one of the top players in the portal a year ago. He's a Chicago native. Is Terrence Shannon and uh, playing close to home after a nice run with the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. Sweet 16 appearance. Yeah, he's a 1,400 point scorer. He's got just two on the board here in this opening round matchup. Arkansas with the basketball and their talented backcourt of Smith and Black. Smith working with Makai Mitchell. Three-pointer on its way. Jordan Walsh, no. Danger pulls down the rebound. Illinois desperate for a run here. Three and a half to go in this first half. Shooting 25% right now, and a turnover. Hot pass into Danger. In transition, Walsh hangs and finishes. Count the basket and a foul on Illinois. But I, I don't know on that pass, and we'll see if Sincere Harris is... He's outside of the arc, but the turnover. I mean, I don't know if he was thinking that Dane Danger was going to turn because he threw it right to the outside of his foot. And those decisions right there, or lack thereof, give you, if you're the Razorbacks, once again, an opportunity to get out and run. 
Walsh can't capitalize, misses the free throw. Shannon on the run out. Shannon lays it in. So Illinois gets one in transition off the free throw miss. It's a 12 point Razorback lead. Arkansas draws the eight seed despite a struggle at the end of the year. Turnover. Arkansas gets back. Ricky Council with a stare down. Up ahead in the corner. Nick Smith for three. No good. Council can't get the follow dunk. And that was last touch. Let's see. That's going to be Illinois ball. Illinois and I got a break there. Well, Ty Rogers turns his back oh. thinking that he can get this up. And Ricky Council said, nah, bro. Not this afternoon. And then Council actually blocked the shot, sprinted back down, and almost had to put, put back dunk. Showing off his athleticism in both both ends. He's grabbing it in his left hand. I wonder if he did it maybe when he grabbed the rim or maybe so. We'll see. Illinois with a basketball. Two and a half to go. They're down 12. Gonna step back by Shannon. Gets the shooter's roll. Here come the Illini and Shannon. Back to back possessions. And he picks up black full court now. Think about it, Shannon, two free throws. Finally saw the ball go in now, a layup and a jump shot. Offense starting to come around just enough. Trying to get this Illini team back in this game. Smith drawing a lot of attention. Yes, lost it out of bounds. Hawkins with the strip. That's going to be Illinois basketball. Walsh disagrees. Well, you notice, too, as the defense picks up for the Illini, the offense then is the recipient of some good nature because of that. Defensively, that's what's going to have to lead the way for this Illini group to create some really good opportunities on their offensive end. Give Rodgers credit for that turnover. Here's Shannon again going to the rack. Take it on Mitchell, and he is fouled. Boy, Mitchell is a presence inside, but you get a bailout call. And if you're Brad Underwood, you're loving it. Shannon going to the to the rack once again. Well, Walsh this time, you could come in and take that drive away, and you want to force the ball to go back outside to Coleman. Now, if they give that foul to Walsh, you're good with that, but it, the foul was pinned on Makai Mitchell, yep. which it, is his second. But I'm sure in the scouting report, it was you close off the driving lanes, which Walsh was there. He didn't commit. That opened it up, forced him to kick it out to take the three, but that time a little tardy to the party, so to speak, that forced to picked up foul on Mitchell. Shannon, the lefty knocks in the free throw. He scored the last eight for the Illini. Well, they are, are within eight right now. Seven of nine from the line. Four of those coming from Shannon. He's made all four of his attempts. Melendez picks up Smith, fouls him. Out on the perimeter. That's part of the point of emphasis this year. And multiple years in the NCAA. Not going to let the hand check and go. And a quick foul in the penalty here. So Smith will go to the line for a one and one. But that's a foul that you can avoid. You're 25 feet outside away from the basket. You're not going to steal the basketball from Nick Smith Jr. Why reach? And I'm sure that's what the coaching staff is saying to Melendez on that particular possession. Missed it. First time Smith at the line. He's off to a shaky start himself. Under a minute and a half to go. Illinois mounting a little rally now and Shannon's been right in the middle of it. Scoring the last eight. Ty Rogers spins, runs into a wall. Hawkins, plenty of time here, 10 to shoot. Shannon. A hot pass. Rogers can't secure it. And that's going to be Illinois ball, 3.9 to shoot. Great effort by Walsh. An official saying that, he, that Walsh didn't have, he did have possession, so they're going to reset it to 20 on that uh, attempted save. So the possession comes as the ball goes out right, right here. So they call it that possession, and that's why the clock gets reset just back to 20. Minute seven remaining in the half. The winner will advance to take on Kansas. The top seed, we're in the west bracket right now. Here is Shannon once again, air ball. Never got it loose. No, never got his feet set to it. When he turned coming to his right, 
Shannon thought the clock was running down. He didn't know they reset the shot yeah, clock. Yeah, that, that's what happened. But that's why somebody has to yell out, okay, clock reset, the play is called. But Shannon, a senior, should be more aware of time and score. Illinois stepped up their defense. No points for the Razorbacks. Last two and a half minutes. And it'll add to it. A scrum for it. And what a strong finish by Kamani Johnson. They're talking about staying with it. <laughs> Kamani Johnson had about three Illini players just draping over him. But he just stayed with it and said, listen, this is mine right now. The shot is up. Johnson on the inside. Fight. Grab, claw, whatever you need to do to finish this inside to put the Razorbacks back up 10. That's, that's why it's premium on <laughs> every shot made. And when you make one, everybody's extremely happy because it's not plentiful early in this first half. But when you got a chance to get a layup inside, but you celebrate that a little mm. bit more in that this funny. particular game. And Nick Smith just pushed it. Took him out. <laughs> Kamani Johnson. Remember his, yeah. his older brother, Dakari, he was the center on those Kentucky teams. Back 2013 and 14. Illinois with the basketball. We're coming to the end of the first half here. Arkansas by 10. Rodgers backs it out. Nine to shoot now. Got to go. Can't shake counsel. Here's Goody. And now Shannon with Smith all over. Got to get a shot up. One to shoot. Goody tries to get it off in time. Does. It's off the front iron. Rodgers may have saved the transition bucket. Arkansas gets it right back. If it goes and black just short. Boy, Arkansas had a clean run to the rim, but Rodgers disrupted it, and that means it's a 10-point game at the half. Yeah, that all boils down to just making shots. Seth Davis was right in the studio. Just make those shots. Terrence Shannon, very quiet to start. He did not have a point on the board, Jimmy, in the first 16 minutes, but he scored the last eight for the Fighting Illini. They finally got himself to the free throw line, kind of opened up the water tap, so to speak. Now, back to Coach Brad Underwood. Get to the paint. Easier said than done. This Arkansas Razorback team is loading up, but I want to go to something that Candace Parker said at halftime is that if this game comes down to it, would they continue to both teams continue to struggle? Arkansas has better one-on-one -on -one players that can be probably tougher twos. Mm -hmm. Can the Ally and I make some tough twos along with getting stops to kind of get themselves in the game if they're not able to open it up by knocking in some perimeter, deep perimeter jump shots? Nick Smith had a quiet first half. The freshman in his first tournament game, just four points. Got those two lottery picks in the backcourt in Black and Smith. And this, just like we started the first half, Davis able to score it inside. Devontae Davis had a terrific start to this game. Six quick points. Now he's got eight. 12 point Arkansas lead with just underway. Second half of basketball. We're in the West region now. The winner advances to take on the top seed, Kansas. Three point of no good. Illinois now three for 12 from beyond the arc. Hawkins has the one make he's one for three and then goody came off the bench has hit two threes but among the starters just that one made three-pointer here's smith gives it back johnson gets a start in the second half with ball fake council can't connect both of these teams losing their final game in conference tournament play danger he is fouled. Danger was terrific against Penn State. Now, much smaller roster Penn State than Arkansas, but Danger was a real factor in that game despite the loss. Activity. And this one was a good example of Danger sprinting down the court. And that time he's able to get Kamani Johnson knocked down underneath to get himself to the free throw line. But you, you said it, you know, it's 13 points against a little bit smaller front line there. So this one, you have to be more active. I think if you can move a little bit more and not go to straight post-ups, that'll provide more space for Danger to work with inside the paint. And if you're a coach and you saw that look by Brad Underwood, there's not much you do at this point. You, Your sets are in place. You're trying to hit some shots. You've just got to make some shots to loosen everything up. You hit a couple uh -huh. of threes, and that was Eric Musselman's biggest concern is 
He knows Illinois is not a great three-point shooting team, but they have been at times a very streaky three-point shooting team. That's when it opens up for them. Well, the Illini are who they are. The roster is not going to change once you go into halftime and come back out. You're not going to all of a sudden come with, you know, a bunch of shooters. So you have to figure out ways within that offense to create those opportunities to be more efficient. Black turned away by Shannon. Five to shoot here. Oh, that is a logo three. No good. That was at the end of the shot clock. Had the horse one up. Arkansas just one of six from beyond the arc. Hawkins wide open. Cash money. Oh, and Hawkins buries a three. And that's an example of playing with pace. You get the stop you want. You get the quick push. Miscommunication by Arkansas in regards to their transition defense. And Coleman Hawkins, albeit only a 28% free throw shooter, had, I mean, three-point shooter, has a beautiful stroke and knocked it in. Smith, a little bit of range, no good. There's Meyer. Up ahead, Hawkins. He's looking for somebody to run with him. Shannon obliges. Shannon lays it in with a burst of speed. Terrence Shannon just flying down the court. And rewarded by Hawkins. Well, I like to put a clock on that. He was hauling. Yeah, beautiful pass, anticipation, but again, it was the defensive stop that allowed the Illini to get out and transition and use their athletic ability to get out and run. Seven point game. Davis gets stuck inside. That is a tough turnaround <laughs> shot, and Hawkins clears it away. Hawkins playmaking right now. He's got counsel on him. He spins off him. Hawkins going to work. He's good in the block. And he's going to the line. He's got that skill. He just knocked down a three. Starting to feel it a little bit. X Factor. When Coleman Hawkins plays with aggressive, with an aggressive nature, he's a different player. This is a different team because he provides you an individual that one can stroke the basketball, two that can make plays, and then three can push the tempo a little bit more, draw some contact, pick up, pick up a few fouls, and get himself to the free throw line. The junior from Sacramento, Ali has more. Well, he told me yesterday that the game is really slowing down for him, the more situation that he's able to experience as a player. But remember his father, Rodney, played college basketball at San Diego State. He has three older sisters, all with college basketball experience. And it's been said publicly for a long time he couldn't beat them. And the only reason he's a good three-point shooter is because it was the only shot that he could get off against his three sisters. So I'm sure he'll be taking them now. College basketball family. It's a run here for the Illini. 7-0, closest it's been since midway through the first half. And Hawkins in charge of it all. Johnson scores it and one. Boy, that looked like a broken play, but Davis kept it alive. He finds Kamani Johnson and a chance at a three-point possession for the Hogs. But this is when you have to be solid defensively. Matthew Meyer, where, where are you going? Stay behind him. The basket is to your back, not the other way. And once he jumped out to his right side, that opened up the spin pass. Now you have to help. You come off the baseline, and Kamani Johnson is able to catch, finish, and now complete a three-point play. I think a lot of eyes on Matthew Meyer right now. I'm anxious to see his first shot go up. He hasn't taken one here in the second half. You heard the guys talk about him at the half. He could be a significant piece, but he is in a struggle right now, Ali LaForce. Well, his confidence is not lacking. When I spoke to him yesterday, he was very aware that he was one for 15 on his last three-point shooting attempts. He said, I'm not going to stop shooting. This is a numbers game. He said, listen, if I was shooting 30% for the season, I can understand why coach would cut me off. But I believe my shooting percentage is significant. He gives me the green light to shoot. Mm. And I believe in myself. And it's a numbers game. I believe I'll win the numbers game. I, I'm. No, I believe those words. I believe they're, they're true in that thought process. I'm not sure if he's thinking that way right now. He just turns it over. They get it back. You never know when it can turn, though, Jimmy. Well, he, here's the thing. You believe that, you say it. But when you shoot the ball, do you believe it's going in? Yeah. Or are you hoping it's going in? That's the big difference. And that's the line as a shooter and as a scorer where you talk about having supreme confidence, hope, or no. Inside black. And that's denied. That's danger with the block on Kamani Johnson. Johnson caught that deep. Not a great pass from Black. Here's Hawkins again at the controls. Anthony Black guarding Shannon, denying him. Danger working inside, and that's a foul. 
And you can tell, you can almost hear Brad Underwood's discussion at the half, just as Allie pointed out. Illinois starting to get some action inside. Take you back. Six Final Fours for the Arkansas Razorbacks, and this was their one shining moment. National Championship in 1994. Clint McDaniel, clutch free throws, and the Hogs. Outlast the Duke Blue Devils, Nolan Richardson. 40 minutes of hell, Jimmy. It was one of the great eras, one of the great teams, and one of the all-time memories in NCAA tournament history. Tough. Scotty Thurman. Melendez misses the three. That's Walsh flying high for the board. Ends up in the hands of Mitchell. Well, the, my connection here is that people, for some reason, mistake me for Corliss Woods at all, all the time. Even, right? even his mom, I saw her in Atlanta one year, and she said, you know you look like my baby. <laughs> you, you know you look like my I said, okay, mom. Uh, what, 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 if you say it, it's fine. That's a, I don't know if Corliss feels the same, <laughs> no, but for you, no. that's a compliment. <laughs> Five to shoot. Davis, and denied by Meyer. Every good play matters for Meyer. As Shannon on the take with the right hand and one. That's his offhand. Chance at a three-point play. Starts on the defensive end, Jimmy. Well, what's your value? Okay, I'm not making shots, but what I can do is play some defense, use this length a little bit, and now we can get out in transition. We can now put the pressure on Arkansas to have to get back and set their defense once they have a live ball turnover. Devo Davis picks up his third foul for Arkansas. Shannon got it cooking in late in the first half. Eight points in a four-minute stretch for the last eight of that first half. He caps off a three-point trip down the floor. And this is a five-point game. Shannon has 13 now, all coming in the last nine minutes of game clock. And Shannon picks up Black. Black disposes of him. That's a block. Shannon with a foul in disbelief. Brooks Wells with the call, officiating his fourth NCAA tournament. Yeah, he's moving, he steps in front, and Black's going to the free throw line. But that's a prime example of the ability of the one-on-one -on -one players for Arkansas to be able to create a shot, to be able to get to their spot. May not have gotten the basket, but when you pick up the five, get to the, and second you get to the free throw line, and once you get there, you want to make both, but that's the, I would say, slight advantage that Arkansas has with their, in particular, perimeter players. Anthony Black out of Duncanville High School in Texas. The 6'7 freshman, destined to be one of the top picks in the NBA draft. Those two freshman point guards. Great talent, first in CAA tournament. We'll see how they respond. Danger. Gives it up. Hawkins trying to turn the corner. He spins off Walsh. He's right with him. A couple of moves for Hawkins. Good stand by the Razorbacks. Yeah, good defense. Disciplined defense that time by Walsh by standing his round and staying disciplined defensively. Black kicks it. Davis. The lefty fires a three. That one's good. Big shot for Devo Davis. He's got 11 now. Arkansas just their second made three. Walsh, excellent defender. Trying to cool off Hawkins. And Walsh all over. Wow. And wow. Walsh picks his pocket. A clinic defensively. And Walsh able to lay it in and out. And it's put back by Davis. Boy, just went one on one. And Jordan Walsh picked his pocket. How about the response by the Razorbacks? Illinois were able to make their run, but not to be outdone. Razorbacks on their own 6 0 run. And defensive discipline, understanding your opponent, being pesky on D. Not able to capitalize himself, Walsh was, but in transition, you never give up on the play, assuming that your teammate is going to make it in Devontae Davis. Loving every minute of that one. Walsh picked up his third foul right there. AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. Looking up top. Back on the floor, Ty Rogers for the fighting Illini. Danger and... Makai Mitchell 
slapping at each other and I think both going to get a warning here. Sean Hole, the official, who's in his 12th NCAA tournament, doesn't want to see that go any further. Illinois with a basketball. Again, Walsh picked up his third foul. He's got Hawkins duty. Skip pass, cross court, three pointer, no good. Makai Mitchell with the rebound. Well, how about the confidence that Eric Musselman has in the young freshman? In Walsh, Jordan Walsh to be able to guard one of the better players for Illinois and Coleman Hawkins. Oh, and Smith fouled on his way up. Ty Rogers closed quickly, but Smith Jr. draws the foul. He's got a couple of free throws coming here, the talented freshman. Yeah, he comes back off the screen as the body and the arm of the elbow when he goes up in the air, even though his arms were straight up. The body is what impacted that play and caused the foul. Nick Smith just two for eight. Second trip to the line, his first made free throw. TNT and TBS, your home for the intense, action-packed Stanley Cup playoffs. Beginning April 18th on TBS. Don't miss a minute of the action. Nick Smith Jr. Missed two months with a knee injury. And interesting trying to weave him back his best games when he had his best scoring games Jimmy Arkansas lost I know that's the funny part is this the 11 games he came back He's averaged 19 points in those losses 16 and wins not always easy To kind of input a talent like that and not lose something in regards to continuity back into your lineup and the Razorbacks experience that Shannon Misses the layup, get a foul on Illinois. Scoring run here for Arkansas is 8 0, just as Illinois got it within five. 49 36, Razorbacks lead it. The winner will face Kansas, the top seed in this West region. Sweet 16 in this region will be in Las Vegas. Kai Mitchell with Hawkins on him. Mitchell goes to the reverse and lays it in. Wow, great footwork. Negotiated that baseline perfectly to get to the opposite side of the rim. Timeout. Brad Underwood in Illinois want to talk it over. Been four years since they've had an NCAA tournament here in Des Moines. A great site, big crowds. Illinois and Arkansas. Here in the second half, 12-23 remaining. Illinois starting to shoot a little bit better. They went on a run, but Arkansas has answered. Jimmy, it's a 10-0 Razorback run, and they've opened up their biggest lead. They're able to respond off of, like you said, the Illini run. Let's see if Illini can get back a beautiful move and kick. It is. Meyer for three. Can't buy one right now. It's his first shot of the second half. That's what I'm saying. You can laugh it off, but, you know, are you hoping that it goes in? Well, if you're Arkansas right now, they got the pedal down, denied. Mitchell runs into a wall underneath. That's going to be Illinois basketball. Another timeout on the floor here, the under 12. We got 11.57 remaining in regulation. Johnson and Allen LaForce. All right, thank you, Adam. And how about Arizona, the two seed? That's the South region, Alabama, the top seed, the overall number one in this tournament. Illinois comes up empty on their first try, and there, Ty Rogers on the cleanup. Second chance points for Illinois. Devo Davis looking for Smith. Smith playing off the ball. You got Davis with counsel. Jordan Walsh has been excellent defensively in this game. Brad Underwood going with his three-point shooters. He's got Goody on the floor. Now Walsh taking on Goody. Looks at the clock. Got to get it up. Tough shot. Hits the front of the rim. And look at Mitchell. And that's a goal 10. Count it. Hawkins went up high, but it was on his way down. Arkansas able to salvage one late clock, Jim. Yeah, and that's, you know, initially uh, the line I did an outstanding job of Making the Razorback State perimeter oriented. You did everything you needed to do, but you didn't secure the defensive rebound, which allowed now 
Mitchell to be able to get the jump hook inside. And now you turn it over. Maya turns it over. Mitchell on the run. Got Smith running with him. It's Makai Mitchell. Tell you, the Mitchell twins have made some serious contributions here. Makai's got eight points and four boards now to go along with two blocks. Shannon kicks it. Meyer for three. In and out. Halfway down. Boy, Matthew Meyer having a game to forget. Well, you feel for him. No, you do, because he's had success. This is unusual for a shooter like this in regards to this stretch. Okay, shooters go through some streaks at times, but they kind of figure it out. But right now, I mean, he, Matthew has had some open looks that he just has not been able to capitalize on. He'll sit. Meyer 0 for 6, 0 for 5 from three-point range. Council had one halfway down. Melendez wants to push it. Three Razorbacks get back. Illinois sets it up here. The line I've been at their best. Ray Hawkins at the point, but gets his pocket picked that time by Smith. Yeah, just anticipation. Smith set that whole thing up, and he knew that Hawkins wasn't aware that he was there. Three-pointer no good. Walsh steps on the sideline, out of bounds. Nick Smith just two for nine now. He's missed both of his threes. Went full isolation right there. Well, what does that tell you about this Arkansas team, too? You, your best player, presumably, presumably, is not having one of his better games, but yet and still, your big numbers come on this line on the team. 17 point lead. And that's going to be a foul on Walsh. Rogers trying to get that pass to Goody. Walsh has been a monster defensively, but he's picked up his fourth foul. Does get himself into foul trouble often. And Eric Musselman is going to make the change here as Anthony Black is back on the floor and counsel. I beg your pardon, Walsh will sit. Well, and that's what Eric Musselman is saying. You don't have to wrap him around the hip. You can have contact. You're in good position. But don't foul. A full demonstration no, from no, Eric Musselman no, right you there. You know what? He was low in his stance, too. <laughs> no, so he, no if, you go correct, if you go correct him, correct him right, okay? <laughs> Your former assistant in the NBA. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yeah, the man. <laughs> Ty Rogers gives it up. Melendez passes it up. Now he lets it slide. That one's good. R.J. Melendez hails from Puerto Rico. Just four points against Penn State in the Big Ten tournament their last game. That's his first made basket of this one. Nine minutes remaining. Second half. Here is Smith. Acrobatic. Can't finish it. Into the hands of Goody. Back to back possessions with Smith coming up empty. Keep an eye on Goody at the bottom of your screen. They're trying to get him loose for a three. Melendez the ooh, nice little ball fake. So Melendez has five in a row now, his first two baskets. And Melendez may have gotten away with a little drag of that pivot foot, but it was some contact with, I think, the official let go. Hence, didn't call the travel, but able to maintain his concentration. Eric Musselman wasting no time. Walsh set to re-enter. Black turns the corner. He's got Melendez on his back. Little floater. No. Danger with a strong rebound. Illinois trying to get on a run. Rodgers kicks it to the corner. Extra pass. Here's Melendez. R.J. Melendez in fuego here in the last three possessions. I'm have telling Texas. you, they have. And yes. they now have their attention. Yes. Couple upsets today. How about Furman taking down Virginia? That was a 4-13 matchup. And now... A two seed is out in Arizona. 15 2 upset, man. What a day. Yeah, and how we're just getting started. We're just getting started, brother. Jordan Walsh, even though he has four fouls, you pointed it out, Brian, back in the game, being that Melendez has started to go off a bit. One of your better defensive players to see how disciplined he is down the stretch of the game, not to pick up any cheap fouls. Walsh went to the bench. Melendez went on a personal 8 0 run. He came in for Matthew Meyer. Now Walsh is back on the floor. It's a lot of time to play oh, with one time. foul to get. Black 
And he is fouled, can't finish it. And the freshman Anthony Black will go to the line for a pair. Well, R.J. Melendez, he averages just six points a game, but he's had some moments for the Illini. Had 17 against Lindenwood back in November. From Puerto Rico, prep basketball in Florida at Central Point Christian. But you, 2 thousand point score there. He's you got it you can him. tell he has game. It's just figuring out how that fits in with the other pieces of this Illini team, which is always tough. Because right there on that own little spurt, he can shoot it from the outside. He can put it on the deck. He's a good passer. Let's see who picks him up here. Davis. We got Walsh on Goody, the three-point threat. Here's the switch. Now Rogers gets stuck inside, looking for help. Melendez, and it's swiped by Davis. Took it right out of his hands. Goody comes up with it. Got time here. Seven to shoot. Melendez. Backdoor cut. Rogers with the reverse. And who was involved? Melendez. Tracked the defense, and Rodgers did an excellent job of reading and reacting out of the corner to cut back door. Black here, nice little teardrop. Tough twos, B. Tough twos. 12 points for Black. Arkansas's lead is 11. Danger inside. He is forced. He scores it anyway. No whistle. That could have been easy. That could have easy been a three-point play yeah. right there because Council had his hands too extended right into the back of danger. Illinois found a little something here. They got some space. They're starting to use the runners and the cutters. Melendez got him going. Six and a half to go. Ball control for Black. Working with Mitchell. Little two-man game. Melendez on his back. And Black misses. Sincere Harris with the board. He's pushing it. Danger up ahead. Walls him off. And Arkansas secures missed opportunity for the Fighting Illini. Yeah, he got down there quick. Just not able to finish in traffic. They lead Davis. They dare him to shoot it. He wisely pulls it back. Six minutes to go here in regulation. Arkansas has had the lead most of the game. Illinois is hanging around. Jordan Walsh gives it up. Davis, three to shoot. Tough three on the ground. Devo Davis. His second made three. Davis with 16 now. Ten of those coming in the second half. Big time shot. Big time shot. Tough. Under pressure. So he said he had ice in his veins after he made it. How about that pass by Harris? But denied inside. Mitchell converging. Notice how quiet the crowd is. It's a 12-point game, but some tension here. Illinois running out of time. Illinois led two to nothing. First basket of the game. They have not been that close since. They got within five. Arkansas has led the whole way. Now a turnover. Goody on the steal. Melendez drives it. Melendez leaves it. And Black denies him. It's a foul. Oh, it sounded like a lot of ball. Dane Danger goes to the line for a pair. Well, the jump and then the recover, not in time for Devo Davis right there. So give me all three of those. And the crowd is quiet because this Arkansas team has been known in the second half to give up leads. Okay, so until the game clock hits double zero and they're ahead, the, <laughs> the crowd would not be at ease unless they're up 20. You know, with a couple, with a minute left in the game, maybe. Mm -hmm. They've seen this show before. Yes, yes. Danger. At the line for two. They tune in to Inside March Madness. Check out the play of the day presented by Buick Encore GX. Well, we've had a number already. Two monster upsets on the opening day of the full field of this NCAA tournament. Furman moving on. Princeton moving on. And Colgate, a 15 seed, ready to take on the Texas Longhorns here on this floor. That'll be our next matchup. But this is the year, I, I believe, because there wasn't a dominant.
college basketball team. We have very good teams, but not dominant teams. So that opens the door for early upsets. And I'm not going to say Cinderella's because a lot of these teams are senior, junior oriented, or grad senior or that are that have been there and been experienced. So they're not afraid of the big moments against the bigger name teams. So Anthony Black got a little blood on his jersey, some blood on the floor. They had to clean up as well. That's the delay. Now the second free throw for Danger. And he steps up. That line drive is good. He knocks down two free throws. And Brad Underwood has bought some time for Coleman Hawkins. Danger will sit. Hawkins back on the floor. He gave him a great run earlier in this game. Ten point game. Arkansas with the lead and the ball. Under five minutes to go in regulation here. Again, Illinois kind of track this lead and get it down to five with about two and a half minutes left. Try to cut it in half. Walsh playing with the four fouls. Nick Smith. Goes Cody out. Nick Smith has to go to work. He gives it up. Here's a long three by Davis. Short. Bouncing rebound to Goody. Illinois holds serve. Shannon drives. Shannon with the left hand. He's fouled. Free throws for Terrence Shannon on the attack. Well, too positive. The positive defensive stop. And then Shannon not to be denied in transition. And you say, well, that was a one on four. Yes, but the one on four, the defensive players, no one identified the basketball or stopped it. That allowed Ter Terrence Shannon to kind of get downhill, get into the paint, and eventually pick up this foul. First team All Big Ten player this year. Misses the first costly miss. Hey, one word can change everything. Shazam, it's Fury of the Gods. Only in theaters. It starts tomorrow. Rated PG 13. You can get your tickets now. Anthony Black for a council. Terrence Shannon. One out of two at the line. Single digit lead for Arkansas now. It is nine. As we approach the four minute mark, Kansas took down Howard. First game today, they have advanced. Blowout victory over the 16 seed. And waiting the winner of this one. Davis with seven to shoot. Davis falls down, bodies on the floor. Three to shoot now, gotta get one up quick. Walsh, tough shot, missed it. Air ball. Play on. Sincere Harris at the controls. Illinois desperate for a basket and a foul. And Illinois continues to drive to the basket and get to the line. <laughs> and then in transition, 17 points. In a tough game where it's tough to come, baskets are tough to come by. You don't want to give it up, and Illinois has done a poor job of protecting that orange pill. That's Ultimately has benefited the Razorbacks. Sincere Harris at the line for a pair. Let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Brian Jim, as expected, those last few Illinois timeouts before this one were pretty dead silent. I mean, the team was at a complete loss for words, but that last timeout, they were fired up. They were excited. You could see the confidence coming back, and Coach Underwood kept emphasizing to them. Arkansas is playing not to lose. Let's take advantage and we want to bring after this free throw a big hard trap, shock them, and try to force a couple more turnovers. Boy, that's costly right yes. there, Allie. Good stuff. Two missed free throws by Sincere Harris. Jimmy, Illinois was down 17, so they fought their way back to within nine, but cannot convert. No, they did it. They didn't turn the basketball over, but when you leave some points on the board from the free throw line, it's hard to cut into this lead. Late clock again, down to three and a turnover. Rogers gets the steal. Illinois desperate for a basket right here. But he got away with a travel on that one right there. He got away with it. Trying to find Shannon. Council just locking down Shannon right now. The ball denial. Can't get in the ball. This is going to be Sincere Harris. Hawkins with Mitchell on him. A lot of clock is ticking here. Illinois down nine. Hawkins turns it over. He throws it right into the hands of Black. Here goes Smith on the run out. Council cannot finish. They went for the highlight. Shannon now on the other end goes to the hole. He is fouled. Boy, Arkansas sitting in a position for a knockout punch, maybe. Mm, Musselman can't believe it. Well, in transition, I would have liked 
Nick Smith Jr. to take the ball to the basket himself. Why? It's because you had counsel trailing that if he does miss, that the putback can be there. That's a more sound, solid play late in the game of how to finish games. It's all about how you finish games. That play is great early in the second half, but right now you want to ensure that you either get a basket or you get a foul to close out this game if you're Arkansas. Well, let's credit Luke Goody, too. He did not give up on the play and disrupted that lob from Smith. Putting points on the board with the clock stopped. Uh, Shannon knocks down both free throws. He's got 16 now. He's 8 of 9 from the line. Arkansas with drought, and Melendez takes it away. Melendez, a two-handed jam. Timeout, Arkansas. Players come together as they try to get to their benches. Order restored. Well, welcome back. And as Ali reported, Brad Underwood wanted to employ the press, get a trap, see if you can create an opportunity, which happened. Melendez walking back, a very smart play by Terrence Shannon Jr., not allowing anything else to escalate that takes away from the positive event in regards to this steal, finish. Now, if you let emotions get away, Brian, you yeah. get a tech. That just takes all the momentum away from that outstanding defensive play. Yeah, that's a great move by Shannon. Yes. You're right. I mean, he's the veteran. He comes in. He gets Melendez out of the fray. The officials did go to the video monitor to take a look just to see if anything elevated into a flagrant. I don't believe it did. No. It's just a play on situation. How about Melendez by the way. He scored 10 points in the last eight minutes. And, and I believe the officials saw to him look. It was the taunt almost in, in regards to the silent taunt. Bird Smith is telling him because he, he walked right into the pathway of Nick Smith Jr. You didn't have to say anything. It's yeah. what you did body language wise that the officials probably talking to him about. All right, here we go. 229 left. Illinois was down 17. They are within five. It is Arkansas ball. A drought over three minutes. Black barely gets it in. Ricky Council has the ball. The fourth ball pressure to hit the backboard. They've got to get it across. Going to be close. He does get it across. So you got to stay out those coughing corners. It's a lot easier to trap that way as we've seen in the last two possessions. Well, just a scramble right now. It's going to be a foul on Goody. So Illinois with their sixth foul. Relentless defensive pressure. Notice Nick Smith on the bench here for the Razorbacks. And it'll be side out. Next one will be one and one for Arkansas. What well, to think about breaking pressure except where it's coming from spread the court give yourself a position to have passing angles shorten your passes so now it's not much of a chance that you get it deflected and it's steal. Arkansas is doing none of that right now kind of playing right into the hands of this pesky line eye defense key possession here Arkansas desperate to score the line eye trying to get a stop we go under two minutes here in regulation in Des Moines. Davis with Melendez on him. Melendez back to his feet. Tough shot. No good. Rebound. Strong offensive board. Put back no. Walsh keeping it alive. Here comes Hawkins. Empty set for Arkansas. Davis forces the turnover. Arkansas gets it right back. Council. And he lays it in. Seven point lead for the Hogs. That's turnover number six for Coleman Hawkins. Goody for three blocks by Black. Mitchell with the rebound. What a play by Anthony Black. The 6 7 point guard went up high to block that one. And a foul is going to send the Razor back to the line. And Coleman Hawkins, you got to feel the presence of the defender coming behind you. Again, by you giving it up, Council able to get out and transition oh. in that 6 7 frame. Right there by the freshman, Anthony Black, gets the block big time. And um, Ricky Council, the fourth, is at the line with a one and one. Council's first points of the half, that layup. He's one of the great dunkers in the SEC. 
He came up a little short, though. He was ready to throw that down. He ends up going off the window as he knocks down the free throw, and Arkansas starting to smell it now. Their lead is eight. Ricky Council got the start here today. And Council, two clutch free throws. Nine point Arkansas lead. Daniel Sargent, wife of Eric Musselman, intense. And Brad Underwood wants to talk it over. Foul will give Illinois two shots. Possession arrow belongs to Illinois, Jimmy. But here we are, a minute 13 left. Illinois desperate for threes, but they're six for yeah. 21 from beyond the arc so here today. So that means you need quick score. Quick score is quick. Score, set your defense, see if you can get a turnover like we saw some progression that happens with this Illinois team to get themselves cut into this lead. Those seven missed free throws, a big two for Illinois. Melendez gives it up inside. Ty Rogers dunks it down. Minute three remaining. Arkansas content to give up the twos at this point. And you figure going to win it, have to win it from the free throw line. As Council runs into Melendez, a block on Melendez. And back to the free throw line goes Council for a one and one. Well, you said it. Give up the two. But you don't want to give it up that easy. Want to make Illinois kind of waste some more time. But if Melendez just stays down on the ground, maybe you get a charge in that situation. But by you leaving your feet, it's an easy call for the official. Ricky Council, the fourth. He's a standout at Wichita State. He is just delivering in a big way at the free throw line. He had two big ones a moment ago. He's got three in a row. Ten points in the first half. And he gives Arkansas a nine-point lead once again. Illinois running out of time. 54 seconds remain. The Illini got it within five. Twice in this second half. They were down 17. There goes Shannon. Throws it down. Again, Arkansas content to give up the twos. Brad Underwood will... Take his final timeout. 45 and change remaining. Arkansas in control. Anthony Black taking it out. Why? Because Ricky Council is a 77% free throw shooter, but also Devontae Davis is a 70% free throw shooter. Get it in their hands. Those are the two they trust the most. Davis and Council. Black fires one. That's almost a turnover. Council saves it. Walsh goes high. Look out. Coming out in. Walsh. Unbelievable. Breaks. Or else he's in our lap. But <laughs> wow. again, it, you, with Nick Smith Jr. and, and Anthony Black, you see, see some of the youth come out. That pass goes all the way to half court easy to steal <laughs> coming hey, your way coming your way Jim yeah but you got to understand you got a timeout see in that situation yeah. you have to be able to slow the game down a little bit and accept the pressure if you don't get it call that timeout so Walsh 72 percent free throw shooter well he's played with four fouls a long time in yeah. the second half he's done a nice job and great defensively and he calmly knocks down the free throw. Well, I went back to Eric Musselman when he got down in that defensive stance and showed him how to be the defensive player you need to be without taking chances and picking up a foul. What exactly were you going to do with that one handout as Walsh is coming in at me? You know how strong I am? Walsh is a young man. I'm, I think I got, he would have just I fallen got, right through that no, no, bro. I got, I got grown man strength over here. <laughs> Dad strength. That's right. Twice. Shannon <laughs> under 30 to go here. Kick it for a three. Hawkins for three. No good. Air ball. And a foul on Mikey Mitchell. Uh, Makai Mitchell, I should say. Mm -hmm. And Arkansas... Ready to put this thing away. Terrific effort defensively. See? Right here. Look. Walsh. So this is what you need to do. <laughs> you, you deny the basketball with the with the elbow. You don't need to wrap Ooh. him on the back. See? How did you know that's what he's talking about? I, I couldn't tell. I, I just know. <laughs> I just know. He was my coach before, you know? He probably told me the same thing. <laughs> See, Eric Musselman would not be great in a poker game. Let's just put no, it that way. No, no, It's all out there for everybody and to see. And he's too emotional, too. So, no. But, I mean, listen, 
for Arkansas, it's one of those games where you didn't play your best, okay? But you figured okay. out a way to advance and live and play another day. That's going to be a big story right there. Nick Smith sitting on the bench, and I like yep. to see that he's up and cheering for his teammate. He just popped up after that free throw. Yep. But he was uh, sat down by Eric Musselman in crunch time, mm -hmm. the talented freshman. A little shaky with some decision making down the stretch as a young man in the first time situation on this stage. He'll get another chance though. Yeah. Ten point lead. Foul on the play. Arkansas really delivering at the free throw line. Making ten of their last eleven foul shots. Shannon comes out of there limping. Terrence Shannon's had a phenomenal year transferring from Texas Tech to Illinois. Back closer to home, the Chicago area native. And a first team All Big Ten selection, and it's going to be the end of the line here for Terrence Shannon. He finished sixth this year in scoring. By the way, Goody fouled out. I like a lot of teams, fresh new faces, had spurts of continuity, but never had the consistency throughout the course of the year. It would give them and this talented team a chance to gel and really reach their full potential. I mean, that's one of the challenges with the portal, Brian. Is players may fit in there statistically, but how do they fit once the ball is put in the air? High turnover team, Illinois, and that was the story today. 17 giveaways for the Fighting Illini. Meyer had a, a struggle. 0 for 6, five of those missed threes. Arkansas turned those 17 turnovers into 19 points. Council has been money from the free throw line. How many times coaches talk to and preach to their players about taking the free throw shooting seriously in practice because a game may come down to whether you can make your free throws to hold off your opponent. Anthony Black picks up the foul here. And Nick Smith back on the floor for these final Seven and a half seconds. Tell you what, the more experience these guys get, these dynamic freshman guards, the better for Arkansas. Eric Musselman, he said it best. We can beat anybody in the country when we're right. We can also lose to anybody in the country. And Razorback fans who have been following this team all year certainly know the highs and the lows of this team. But there is no question they've got that kind of firepower where they could get real dangerous real fast. This is going to take us to the finish line. And Arkansas, the eighth seed, will advance. Anthony Black, 12 points, six rebounds. Rick Council goes for 18, had some big free throws late. And Arkansas wins it by 10. Evo Davis, an excellent game today, 16 points. Shannon goes for 20. And Melendez had that great 8 0 run. He ended up with 10. And how about Arkansas? Only shot 38%, 24 made field goals, but only, only four assists. So finding out ways to win the basketball game when it wasn't pretty. But you survive, you advance, and Jordan Walsh had a big role defensively of staving off a couple runs employed by the Illini. So Arkansas will have a day with the Kansas Jayhawks.